Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make a chipotle chicken wrap with avocado. This wrap is absolutely fabulous and makes for a great lunch. So join me as we make a chipotle chicken wrap with avocado. So we're gonna do a little prep and what I have is I have a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. So we're just gonna cut the ends off, cut it down the middle and put it in our little trash bowl here. We're gonna do the same for the green bell pepper. It smells really good. And I'm gonna give this a crit rinse. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut them in strips. And we're just gonna cut them in half like this, in half. So basically four pieces. And use a couple different colors because you want it to be a little colorful. We're gonna be softening these up in the saute pan. So you can actually do them as big or as little as you want, but they're gonna soften up really nicely and be a little sweet. Okay, we're gonna also cut up a little bit of onion. And we wanna cut this into like half moon, half, half, half moons, if that makes any sense. <laughs> There's probably a technical name for it, but I don't know what that is. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them like this, then cut them into moon, half moons, quarter moons, right? We're also gonna cut up some tomato, and we're just gonna do this in slices. Not too thick slices, unless you want them thick. And so we're gonna shred up a little bit of lettuce, and this is just some romaine. Sometimes I actually just buy shredded lettuce in a bag, but this time, for some reason, my store didn't have any. So I just, um, Got this, so let me rinse this really quick. And you, usually I suppose you would shred um, iceberg, but the iceberg they had didn't look that great either. So I'm just gonna sort of shred this just by cutting it into little julienne. <laughs> Perfect, shredded lettuce, look at that. You never thought you'd get shredded lettuce from some romaine. But you can. So I guess I have a lot of shredded lettuce. Woo! It's gonna be enough for a few sandwiches. And so now it's time to cook. So I have a whole bunch of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We're gonna use a couple and the rest I'm gonna save for another dish. Um, we're probably, these aren't too big, so we might use like um, three or four of them. We brined this chicken in a salt water solution, and then we took it out, rinsed it, put it back in the refrigerator, covered it overnight so it would dry out and you won't have a bunch of water in it. Brining is just going to help it retain moisture. The last thing you want is some dried out chicken in your wrap. Um, and boneless, skinless chicken breast tends to dry out really easy. So we're just going to do a little trimming. I get this as a club pack at my local grocery store and it tends not to be trimmed that well. So what we want is we just kind of want some thin pieces of meat. If your chicken breast is really big and wide, I would say cut these. Once you cut the thin pieces, then cut these in half. Um, these don't look too bad. I have some that might be a little big. Um, you just kind of want them bite size, so when you bite into your wrap, you don't have like a big, huge chicken finger coming out. You just have kind of a nice piece of thinly sliced chicken, almost like a like you would slice for a cheesesteak. And 
we're going to go ahead and do this with a couple more. Depending on how big of a crowd you're feeding. I'm just, we're just going to make up a couple of these and I'm going to save the rest and I'll use them for my work for lunch this week. So we're going to season up our chicken. We want a little tiny bit of saucy in there, but we don't want it way too saucy. Um, otherwise it'll just be, it won't be good. So I'm just going to put some olive oil in here first. Let's be our little saucy. I'm going to stir this up. So we're going to put a little cracked black pepper. If you like it really spicy, then make your grinds really coarse. If you like it not so spicy, make your grinds a little less coarse. And we're going to put some salt, always for chicken. You need to salt it up really good. We're also going to put some ground red chipotle powder. I better get a spoon otherwise I'm going to have burning fingertips tonight. Huh? So we're going to put a little bit of this. We're going to have some chipotle aioli which is basically mayonnaise in here as well. But this is going to give us a little bit of flavor of the chipotle on our chicken. Now it's time to start cooking. What I have here is two cast iron pans. They're enamel coated, but you can just use regular cast iron. You don't necessarily need two. You can cook your chicken and peppers and take them out and then heat your wraps. But we're going to do that in two separate ones just to kind of make it faster. So I have it kind of on a medium high heat on my stove. I have it on an eight and we're going to go ahead and put some olive oil in here. Not sure of the temperature of the pan. What's the temperature of the pan, Eric? Uh, 260, 270 degrees. Okay. So we might want to turn the pan up a little bit. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in the onions. Um, I don't know what it is. But to me, I have to cook the onions a little bit, sort of by themselves, because they don't tend to cook all the way for me. So I'm just going to cook them a little tiny bit before we put the bell peppers in. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of us in here with the bell peppers and onions. Oh yeah, right. We got a little green bell pepper, a little red, a little onion. This, I would say, is the start of everything good. Bell peppers and onions and a little bit of olive oil. So we got a little softness going on there. So you don't want to take them too far because you don't want them to be all overcooked by the time the chicken gets finished. So we have our chicken that we sort of have marinated in a little chipotle powder, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. We're going to go ahead and put that in. And we're just going to cook it until the chicken's done. Okay, so what we have is we have some wraps and I have some that are tomato and have spices in them. And I also have some that are plain. Now when I went to the store, it's kind of hard to buy something that's a wrap. Sometimes they're like gluten free or something like that. And if that's what you need, great. Um, to get regular ones, I had to sort of hunt around. And so you sort of ask what's the difference between a wrap and a tortilla? Not much. So you can either get very large tortillas. Wraps are a little thinner. So if you manage to get some wraps, that's great. So what we have here is we have another cast iron skillet. We have that warm. So we're just going to heat our wraps up. So now we're going to build our wrap and this looks absolutely delicious, right? So the very first thing we're going to use is some chipotle aioli. This is basically a chipotle mayonnaise. I made this about a year ago and I did a video on it. So I'll link the video down below. It's really super simple to make. Don't buy anything that's already pre-made make it yourself because it is that much better. So we're going to take a little bit of our chipotle aioli, AKA mayonnaise. 
and we're gonna stuff this baby. Now I have some avocado, freshly sliced. Oh gee, you see that Eric? Eric's chomping over there, you can hear him. <laughs> We are going to put some tomato, and I think I'm going to slice these this way. And we're going to do this, if that's okay, Eric. Sure. And now we've got some chicken, bell peppers, and onions all flavored up with a little bit of Chipotle powder and some olive oil. How hard am I gonna stuff this? We got a little bit of shredded lettuce. Wow. I would say. Can you put another wrap on her and make a sandwich out of it? <laughs> this is gonna be pretty dynamite. So we're gonna fold the ends in and we're gonna wrap them. Now that is beautiful. I'm just gonna slice this baby and I stuff this pretty good. Wow, look at that. That looks tasty, tasty, tasty. Now, let me take a taste. <laughs> I didn't even get to take a taste. Pick it up. Mmm. Juicy. Got creaminess. You can vary the kind of mayonnaise, the amount of mayonnaise you put in there. It makes it really messy with you put a lot of mayonnaise. Chicken is juicy. The veggies just all add flavor. Got a little bit of heat from the chipotle, not bad. Oh. Mmm. You can have a cow taste goodness. Mm. Can I have a taste? Thank you, Eric. Now let me taste it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now I see why you attacked it like that, Eric. Mm -mm. It's a little spicy from the Chipotle. If you don't like it spicy with Chipotle powder, you know, reduce the amount, definitely put some in there because, wow. Mm. I would say, I say I dream about the Eggs Benedict, but I dream about this wrap. Mm -hmm. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. I made a little bit of a saucy from the olive oil. Um, kind of messy. If you get bigger tortillas or wraps, your stuff will stay in there a little better. This is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Mm. Messy. But it is so good. I would pay for something like this. I wouldn't. I'd make it myself. <laughs> yeah. Wow. If you like this video, please leave a comment below. And give me a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook. Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make a chuck, 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 chuck,